What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Lucas and in this one I'm going to be talking about the fifth stage of psychological development. If you guys enjoy this video please make sure to subscribe because it helps my channel to grow and I greatly appreciate that. This is a many part series about how humans develop. I have already made about three parts before this on the lower stages of the model and each stage builds on top of the previous stage. So to truly understand how humans develop, you would have to start from part one and then keep going up. And I highly recommend starting from the beginning if you haven't already watched the first few, but this video will still uh, help you to identify certain cultural values and things like that, but it will help you the most if you start at the beginning. Now, I'm just going to hop right into this stage, and before I really uh, go deep into this stage, I'm just gonna give you a wide list of values. So what is this stage? On the spiral dynamics model, this is going to be stage orange or uh, multiplistic. On the ego development theory, it's uh, conscientious and or the achiever. I've also seen it labeled that. And on Wilbur's model, it's stage orange. So I'm going to be calling this stage orange just because that's the one I'm most familiar with. And this stage is extremely relevant for pretty much every first world country. All the first world countries are dominantly around this level of development. And if you live in most European countries or North America or Japan, Australia, these values, you will be able to identify them pretty much everywhere within your culture. It's absolutely flooded within uh, a lot of modern cultures. Now, what is Stage Orange all about? It's about success and autonomy. The basic theme is act in your own self-interest by playing the game to win. Now, what's important with this stage of development is progress, prosperity, optimism, and self-reliance. Strategy, risk-taking, and competitiveness. Goals, leverage, professional development, and mastery. Rationality, objectivism, demonstrated results, technology, and the power of science. Use of Earth's resources to spread the abundant good life, quote-unquote good life, advanced by learning nature's secrets and seeking the best solutions. And this is absolutely massive because of how rampant this stage has actually run. This stage is pretty much dominating the world at this point. And the main focus of this stage is the delivery of results. So practicality is massive, effectiveness, goals, success within the system. Uh, some of the qualities within this stage include long-term goals, ability for self-criticism, and a deeper sense of responsibility. It's interested in causes, reasons, consequences, and the effective use of time. It's future-oriented and proactive, initiator rather than pawn of system, pawn of the system. It's blind to the subjectivity behind objectivity, which is something science is deeply guilty of, and I'll be talking a lot about that within this episode. Uh, it feels guilt when not meeting own standards or goals. And that is a lot of how the stage works. How it influences other people is it provides a logical argument, data experience, makes task slash goal oriented contra contractual agreements and things like this. Now, how does this stage emerge from the previous stage? Like I said, each stage builds on top of the previous. It's like a ladder. You, stay, you take it one step at a time. Now, stage orange is the next level after stage blue. As the restrictive and oppressive order became too extreme at, at blue, the individual breaks free from blue's order. So pretty much what is happening here is the individual is beginning to question the Pope 
authority figures, the sort of pyramid scheme that's set up within, you know, whatever blue system there is, whether it's uh, a blue monarchy, a king, a queen, a pope, it's beginning to question maybe the American constitution, the laws, things like this. And what it's beginning to search for is its own individual freedom. So it's my individual rights and a lot of values like this, which I will be explaining, just stick with me. The individual ambition is now seen again as in stage red, but now it's more about science and evidence becoming important. In contrast, before this, much of their values and beliefs are based on low level spirituality. So before this stage, there was no scientific method. This is the stage where the scientific method actually is created. Whereas a lot of people within stage orange cultures, they believe that the scientific method is just a given. It's this obvious thing, proof, blah, blah, blah. But this is not an obvious thing. This is something that humans actually had to create through centuries of trial and error. Even more than that more than centuries, it's been thousands of years really. It's been from the ground up since the beginning of, of the universe really. Now I'm going to be getting into a lot of how stage orange works and this stage, like all the previous ones, is very wide. There's a wide range of information and it's also very deep and I'm attempting to do both within this video. So stick with me. The fifth level on the spiral is stage orange. It emerges when the oppressive and restrictive essence of stage blue becomes too extreme, yet the orderly stage blue gives a safe and stable foundation for orange to develop and grow. So without stage blue, we can't have stage orange. Like I said, it's like a ladder and you're taking it one step at a time. Individuals at stage orange are looking for a sense of freedom, which was withheld from them at stage blue because it was all about sacrificing yourself for the group. Whereas now that's being flipped on its head. It's no longer about sacrificing yourself for the group. It's to hell with the group. What about my rights? What about me and my good life? Things like this. They have a need for self-determination and this arises as seen in stage red. And you'll see the enhancement of ambition and individuality as they break away from the herd. There is a swift move away from mystical beliefs to more evidence-based thinking and scientific discoveries. So the problem, a problem with a lot of blue thinking was that it's leaning all the way into faith and sort of religious dogma and ideology. And then it swings the pendulum all the way to the other side of evidence and scientifically based, uh, you know, ideologies and this level of thinking, which there are problems with, and I will be talking about that within this video. And I'll make separate videos on that because that's a complicated issue. Uh, they tend to lose sight of the sacred and uh, sense of, so they, they lose sight of the sacredness within themselves, which is typically larger around blue and they start leaning towards materialism and what we know as capitalism. So capitalism is a very stage orange form of government. And there are levels of government past capitalism. Orange is highly competitive and strives for success. They take responsibility for their welfare and security and tend to look down on those who rely on others, such as the government benefits system and lower classes. Examples of orange personalities include uh, Ayn Rand, Napoleon Hill, the cosmetic and fashion industries, trophy hunting, breast implants, and Forbes magazine. Typical Republicans and Donald Trump are also examples of orange, although Donald Trump has a lot of stage red in him. He's sort of red slash orange. Uh, today's society is dominated by orange, which represents around 40% of the adult population and holds 30% of the power. Orange businesses, governments, and corporations dominate the lives of most of the world's population, regardless of whether they are in their country. Orange, Orange's influence is currently global. So this is a pretty massive stage because the majority of uh, the problems in the world are really being caused by this stage. Although the stages, like I said about all the other, uh, all the other stages, 
it's not a good or bad stage. There's just unhealthy and healthy manifestations of it. And because such a large amount of the world is in this stage, um, you know, that's the reason why the majority of the problems within with that are happening on the earth are coming from this stage. Whereas if the majority of the earth was stage green or blue or red or whatever, then the majority of problems would come from that uh, specific stage. Although this stage is still relatively advanced for uh, most of the world because uh, there's a lot of people who are not in this level of development yet. Now, orange is where human beings use reason to question hierarchy and learn more about the world around them. It is often referred to as the achievement stage and describes when humans work hard to better themselves and be more successful. Hence, the growth of the personal development industry over the last 100 years. At this stage, individuals learn to excel, set, and achieve goals, measure success, compete, and play to win. At this stage, Businesses, science, medicine, and most of the tenets of the modern world were created. So Western medicine is also a very stage orange form of medicine. The orange step was the driver of the industrial age and continues today as an evolving technological and information age. This stage is highly individualized. So like all spiral dynamic stage stages, they either lean more individual or collective. So we were at blue collective. It's a very we stage. And now we've swung it all the way to myself. It's now back to me, it's, it's an I, it's an individual stage. Once again, the essence of orange is autonomy, self-interest and materialism. The purpose of their life is to compete and win material pleasures, wealth and power. Its tagline is act in your own self-interest by playing the game to win. Now I'm going to be getting into some very standard uh, stage orange slogans and phrases and this is going to be a wide range of information really there's going to be all sorts of uh, different views on things happening within the stage because all these stages are very wide there's a lot of information that's went into these stages when you want to do it you can do it winning isn't everything it's the only thing religion has caused more harm than any other idea since the beginning of time there is nothing good I can say about it. People use it as a crutch. Kill two birds with one stone. I do not agree with what you say, but I will defend to the death your right to say it. So individual rights, massive at this stage. For every disadvantage, there, there is an advantage. And this is a uh, Donald Trump quote. The beauty of me is that I am very rich. And Donald Trump is an interesting uh, character because uh, he has a ridiculous amount of stage red in him. Actually, he's uh, a somewhat good example of orange, but uh, not entirely. He's not super solid orange. He's mainly around red, blue, and orange. Those are his dominating uh, stages, and mostly red slash orange. Now, I'm going to be going through a list of characteristics of orange. So orange has a strong faith in science and rationality. So like I said, blue was a strong faith in religion and God. And now this is a strong faith. It's swung all the way to the other side. The pendulum has swung all the way to the other side to uh, a blind faith in rationality and uh, objective knowledge and science and reason. So now there's the belief that if we just do more science, this will take us to the truth and that's about it. Or we have to use rationality to take us to the truth. This is standard orange thinking and it's not actually true. There's uh, a lot of uh, misconceptions about how reason works and how science works within people at this level of development. Individuals at orange seek a life of material wealth and abundance. Societies at Orange tend to have developed human rights laws, legal freedoms, free markets, and capitalistic democracies. Orange, are, Orange people are very success-driven and competition-driven individuals. Orange is very goal-oriented. Orange values competence, optimism, and charisma. Orange values personal freedom and independence and believes everyone should strive towards this. Orange is very looks focused and value beauty. 
So orange can be very just determined to conquer its goals, which is uh, a great thing. Orange is usually very anti-religious. Uh, religion is typically not valued at orange. It's more secular and more about uh, achieving wealth for the good life, things like this. So orange values sex, money, and material luxuries. Orange's relationships can be very transactional. Once they get what they want, then the relationship is over. I'm just gonna drink some water. Now I'm gonna get into some healthy manifestations of stage orange. Individuals at stage orange can think strategically. So now there's an ability to plan, think about one's future and act in according with those thoughts, act uh, in accordance with those thoughts. Orange is very entrepreneurial. Uh, those at stage orange are great problem solvers Orange has the ability to take care of themselves and their families. Unhealthy manifest manifestations of orange. And this is really what you see just run rampant in uh, a lot of orange level societies in the world. And it's pretty much, uh, it, it's, <laughs> it's so obvious uh, that um, a lot of the very deeply stage orange societies are dysfunctional. And it's so, it's so obvious to see this dysfunction, especially coming from me because I live in Canada, a deeply orange society. Uh, the States is very orange. And I'm going to be getting to a list of uh, countries and stuff that are very stage orange. So unhealthy manifestations of stage orange. Orange may exploit the living environment for material gain. Orange can be manipulative. And I'll be listing a lot of examples of that. Um, orange can lose sight of nature and the humanistic aspect. So orange can lose sight of, um, yeah, nature and the humanistic aspect. It can focus too much on just needing to get more money or get more sex and just achieve these tasks endlessly. And it really loses sight of the bigger picture and what life is really about uh, by doing these sort of robotic tasks. Orange has little critical thinking when it comes to scientific foundations leading to scientism or reductionism or scientific materialism. Uh, I love that topic. It uh, gets me very excited. I, I love talking about science. Uh, orange is happy to uh, exploit other people. Orange can be blind to the suffering of other people. And before I continue, not all science is stage orange. There's science done at all levels of the spiral for example a very purple level of you know science can be um, a very primitive form can be eating some sort of plant that you found to test whether it's going to kill you or if you can eat it um, and this pretty much goes up and down the spiral science can happen you know testing can happen at any level of of development but very uh typical scientific thinking and empirical evidence is uh very much valued at stage orange. So scientific establishments are very orange. Although people like Albert Einstein, Max Planck, uh, Niels Bohr, Erwin Schrodinger, these kinds of scientists, they were actually stage yellow slash turquoise. They were much more evolved than the average scientist. Uh, and there's a lot of scientists that are much more psychologically evolved than orange and their uh, contributions to science are absolutely massive and honestly paradigm shattering because they're so far beyond uh, the center of gravity of their colleagues that they can't help but just take a crap on their work pretty much. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not really take a crap on their work but just expand upon it in such a profound way that you know the people around them they just can't see that because they're not at that level of development yet. Um, I'm gonna get into more stage orange values and i'm going to be listing a lot of examples i've ran through that rather fast uh, what is the essence of the orange value system so the core values are autonomy individual freedom individual rights being materialistic uh results oriented science nowadays is extremely results oriented it's the average scientist is really just running experiments and getting results, really. It's all into results, empirical data that, you know, we can 
quantify. That's all very orange. Uh, the, the overall paradigm is uh, involved in success and improving myself, really. That's a very positive aspect. Uh, the worldview is the world is full of possibilities and opportunities and the world can be fully understood with reason, which uh, isn't true. <laughs> uh, partially true. The world is full of possibilities and opportunities, but the world cannot be fully understood with reason because as we will see from the later stages in uh, this model and in really developmental psychology in general, there are levels of human development that are beyond mind, reason, concept, logic, empirical evidence, things like this. Uh, the life motto is, I present myself in a calculating way. The life theme is obtaining material abundance, individual freedom, and taking advantage of opportunities. The life attitude is, I am responsible for my prosperity, and that is why I develop my talents. I think, so I exist. Uh, that's a Rene Descartes quote, I think, therefore I am. Yeah, that's all orange level thinking. Now, orange really begins to develop in response to blue becoming too extreme. So the lack of freedom under blue causes bitterness in the individual, fueling the need for self-determination. The individual wants to be free and determine his own life, to form his own, own opinion, and to seek his own truth. The individual breaks free from blue's wait-and-see attitude, and has the drive and considers himself smart enough to do so to now start reaping the benefits of the material abundance that life has to offer. The success of blue also creates abundance and urbanization uh, takes place. I think I read that wrong. Uh, the success of, sorry, it's in a different language. That's, that's really strange. Uh, trade competition and money as a medium of exchange are becoming increasingly important, the living environment is increasingly seen in terms of opportunities and possibilities. Earthly life and thinking becomes more valuable than the religious spheres and cognition. Reason and scientific thinking become the dominant paradigms of life. Joy in life and enjoying success, joy in life and enjoying success becomes more important than life for the afterlife. So a big theme of blue was sacrificing myself now to uh, gain something later. And there's a healthy and an unhealthy manifestation of that. Whereas a healthy manifestation of that is blue's desire to develop discipline so that it can enjoy something later. So I get, you know, I discipline myself so that I can, you know, reap the benefits of that later. And that's not very often how it manifests. It's usually a very unhealthy manifestation, whereas I will sacrifice myself now in order to achieve a spot in heaven for the afterlife. And then people become very dogmatic and ideological about that. What develops in orange when uh, this value system is activated? Logical thinking abilities, uh, high quality observation and analysis, or keen observation and analysis, discovering and developing individual talents. Now, what are the characteristics of this value system? So I'm going to go through some of the highlights, pretty much. Uh, the Renaissance, the Golden Age, the Enlightenment Era, Scientific Revolution, the Industrial Revolution, post-World War II Reconstruction, and Global ICT Development. Now, the lows of Stage Orange are exploitative capitalism, environmental destruction, materialism, and cold practicality and rationality. Now, the economy in Stage Orange has a lot to do with industrial production driven by mass consumerism. If that doesn't stream out United States, then I don't know what does. <laughs> um, the religion at Orange, although Orange can be religious, but it's very typically not religious because um, it's sort of a swinging away from blue values, which is religion. Uh, deeply religious, really. Uh, a lot of blue people tend to really hold on to religion. And um, the, the quote-unquote religion at stage orange is humanism, belief in one's own abilities, liberalism, individualism, and secularism. 
Now, uh, leaders in the stage orange uh, society involve presidents, prime ministers, CEOs, entrepreneurs, and commissioners. Now, a lot of inventions coming from stage orange are uh, accounting, printing, perspective, microscopes, cartography, company shares, steam engines, motorized vehicles, information and communication technology, and things like this. So science, technology, democracy, human rights, free trade, knowledge and service economy, uh, emancipation, in, so industrial revolution once again, mass production, etc. So technology and being very success oriented and results oriented. Now, what are the general characteristics of the orange value system? I'm going to be going over them again. Uh, rationalism, materialistic, competitive, excelling, elitist, image sensitive, successful and goal oriented and pragmatic. Uh, ambition and striving for money, status and recognition. So self-esteem needs are massive at stage orange. You have all these people sort of flexing, you know, their gold jewelry or their Gucci bags or their new shoes. A lot of this is typical stage orange because it's all about uh, wanting to look good in the public eye. It's all about, you know, building one's sense of self and um, their self-esteem. Um, results oriented, targeted planning and strategy to get better results, materialistic focus on competition and winning. Uh, if you want something, that means you can do it. Versatile, enterprising, and takes on challenges. Flexible, but also serious. Although, uh, flexible is an interesting word to use. I would... So what they mean by flexible is pretty much the ability to just take on different goals and uh, really achieve them. So focused on results, growth, and efficiency. Playing the game... Uh, from paperboy to millionaire. So that's a uh, very, very typical stage orange paperboy or pizza boy to millionaire entrepreneur, this whole uh, story. Uh, image oriented, meaning you never get a second chance for a first impression. So image sensitive or image oriented means my self image. So how do I look in the public eye? So self esteem needs. Uh, it likes to do fun things with nice people, which is, I find that one kind of funny. Uh, hedon hedonism is very massive at stage orange, so materialistic, materialistic pleasures and living the good life through material abundance is massive at orange. How do you recognize the presence of orange? You can recognize orange by the urge for personal results, wanting to be successful, and the desire for status. Orange has an inquisitive nature and can act pragmatically in different situations. For Orange, there are several roads that lead to Rome. There is never one solution, and if it can't be done the way it should, then it has to be done the way it can. Orange wants to play the game and do nice things with nice people. Orange has a positive nature, enjoys life, and the achieved success. Orange tends to be very optimistic. How do you recognize the absence of orange? Um, no result orientation and little drive to change and develop. Now this is uh, yeah, just an underdeveloped orange. A lack of strategy, lack of vision, uh, lack of taking charge for yourself, and a high degree of uh, inequality really because Orange has a lot to do with individual rights, although this equality, inequality issue really flowers at green. That's a massive thing at the next stage, really. But orange has a lot to do with uh, my individual rights, although fairness isn't exactly massive at stage orange, because orange will gladly step on you in order to achieve its own agenda. <laughs> orange can be uh, like I've said a couple times now, exploitative and manipulative. And I'll be throwing a lot of examples of that happening in the world uh, shortly. So making decisions takes a lot of time and a lot is done on the basis of certainties. There is little fun to be seen and the energy is low and heavy. Now that's all the absence of orange. How do you deal with the orange value system? Now orange wants to be free to achieve its own goals. So you got to give orange the freedom to give its own interpretation to results. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's all about 
action, goals, results. Uh, I want to see results now. That's very stage orange thinking. Uh, keep things fun and interesting. Be quick, action-oriented, and assertive. Orange values, all of that. Uh, stories about success and other facts and figures. And that is all very typical orange thinking. What are motivational incentives for the orange value system? So setting challenges and results. They deeply value this. They, they love this. Focus on what needs to be achieved, stimulate people, and think flexibly in options so it can sort of take action in a bunch of different ways. Provide a competitive, colorful, varied, and playful environment with a lot of space and freedom for the individual. So now what are the demotivating incentives for Stage Orange? Doing more of the same and staying too stuck in the past. Having no strategy or vision, showing weakness in the process and its management, expanding too much without getting to the point, keeping yourself small, not showing yourself and staying below ground level, uh, avoid the discussion about results. So avoiding the discussion about results, people in Sage Orange don't like that. They want to hear about the results. They want it now. They want it to be driven. They want it goal oriented. It's very neurotic in some forms, to be honest, and also healthy in other forms. Uh, an interesting one is uh, expanding too much without <clears throat> getting to the point. Now, Orange has this myth that everything can sort of just be summed up or explained simply because Orange doesn't really have this big picture thinking ability yet. It hasn't really developed that and that really gets developed at stage yellow. So if you start talking about different theories and philosophies and connecting them, Orange will just see you as uh, too philosophical or expanding too much without getting to the point. They will not have the patience for that. They don't want to, they don't want to do that. Now, I'm going to give you some more healthy manifestations of stage orange, which is people being results-oriented, investigative, able to think strategically, pragmatically, oh, pragmatically switch with problems and enterprising. Uh, and now I'm going to give you some more unhealthy manifestations of uh, stage orange. So being overly calculating, being overly opportunistic, overuse of living environment manipulation and exploitation, uh, the abuse of nature and the abuse of the environment, um, being too functional, being too busy, never having enough and losing sight of the human aspect. So never having enough, always chasing more, chasing more success and more money and more Gucci bags and more science and more technology, more experiences, things like that. That is a lot of that is massive at stage orange. So um, I'm going to give you some leadership traits from the stage orange value system. So some typical leadership traits here are once again, being results oriented, keeping the goals sharp in mind and maneuvering strategically show driven entrepreneurship and wants to be successful, taking on challenges, seeing and seizing opportunities, having a good antenna for trends and developments. So being able to notice sort of trends in a marketplace, for example, and being able to capitalize on that opportunity. Uh, flex, being flexible with reality and really just being able to um, act on various opportunities is what they mean by flexible. That's being repeated over and over again. Uh, so yeah, just being able to act on certain opportunities that arise that they see that they can uh, gain on. Look for opportunities to be successful. Um, presenting yourself in a well-groomed and professional manner. Stimulating individual initiatives. Challenging people to further explore their possibilities and appreciating and rewarding successes. Being able to present yourself, your department, and your organization concretely and with flair. So, uh, like clout and yeah, looking professional, prestigious, appearing high status, very orange uh, behavior. Now, how does collaboration work at Stage Orange? So, collaboration requires a common goal, setting targets and challenges, put a dot on the horizon and ask everyone how they will contribute to them. Give everyone the space to give sub substance to the result to be achieved. Reward both collaboration and individual achievement. How does building trust work? Recognize individual achievement and status. 
uh, stimulate creativity and reward innovations. And that's pretty much how a lot of their relationships work. Um, now I'm going to be giving you some more uh, slogans for Stage Orange. And like I said earlier, this is a repeating one. If you want it, you can do it. So want equals can. The sky's the limit. Uh, if you do what you did, you get what you got. Every disadvantage has its advantage. So winning and losing is very big at Stage Orange. Stage Orange wants to win. And that can often be at the expense of someone losing. Whereas later on in development, people develop a more win-win attitude. Although there is a bit of a win-win attitude in Stage Orange, but Stage Orange, like I said, will gladly walk over other people and manipulate them and exploit them in order to, um, you know, serve their own agenda. One learns by doing. So pragmatic, utilitarian, practical results, that's valued. Philosophy, ideas, that's not valued at this stage. One learns by doing. Very orange level thinking. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Uh, he who is not strong must be smart. There are many roads that lead to Rome. Walking on thin ice, nothing, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Casting a haddock to catch a cod. The beauty of me is that I'm very rich. Kill two birds with one stone. And the knife cuts both ways. This is all orange level thinking. And it's absolutely massive. I'm going to be getting into a list of stage orange values. And this is going to be a long list. I've got a lot to say about this. Now, a list of values are achievement, success, excellence, climb your way to the top, upward mobility, obsessed with being number one, be a winner, improving one's own position in life, efficiency, progress, productivity, optimization, gaming the system, min-maxing, manipulation, creative exploitation. So a, a good example of creative exploitation is marketing to children. So the McDonald's Happy Meal is a very stage orange tactic because this is pretty much exploiting and manipulating uh, human needs and things within the human psyche in order to get your way and damn the consequences. There's, they're not really thinking about that because it's much more about how I can make money and getting my agenda fulfilled and my own goals. That's unhealthy uh, manifestations of stage orange. Action, results, pragmatism, never ending growth, always wanting more, capitalism, libertarianism, competitive marketplace, deregulation, denationalization, hard work, business, entrepreneurship, money, competition, winner takes all, self-improvement, skills, knowledge, education. Now education, uh, really in the sense of just learning more skills and pretty much building up skills within this stage because stage orange doesn't have the ability to educate itself on all the different levels of development because it just doesn't see this occurring yet. Whereas later on in the spiral, education becomes a much more complicated thing. But pretty much all the schools in uh, a lot of stage orange societies are obviously going to be orange. So this has to do with learning math, math skills, um, some language, that's always big, scientific thinking. That's really what they mean by education. And although it's useful, there's actually more that people need to be taught. There's not really going to be a valuing of emotional well-being, for example, at Orange. They're not going to teach you about that, even though that's extremely important. Or even self-awareness. That's not really massive at Orange because that can seem too philosophical or ungrounded or airy-fairy or intangible. And what they want are tangible, physical results now, really. They don't even really need it now, but they just want to be able to see it and know that they can have it and get it. So something like philosophy or metaphysics, this is not in the interest of Orange because this is too abstract. This is way too out of their, uh, you know, cognitive ability. And there actually is philosophy and metaphysics at Orange, although it's often denied, which I'll be getting into uh, very shortly. Uh, where was I? Confidence, optimism, and charisma. 
uh, entertainment and showmanship, personal freedom, self-reliance, independence, free speech, money, sex, luxury, net worth, physical appearance, youth, sexiness, coolness. So your standard, uh, what came to mind is your, your standard sort of 80s rock douchebag looking guy with the sunglasses and the Mustang, convertible Mustang, and he's looking all cool. He's got the music blasting. He's sort of putting on this like facade of, you know, this like cool guy with all these interesting material possessions. This is all very orange. So yeah, physical appearance, youth, sexiness, and coolness. Uh, <laughs> consumerism, conspicuous consumption, brands, uh, pop, pop culture, a lot of celebrities tend to be stage orange. Social media is very stage orange. Quarterly profits, mass market, and sales. Now, social media is a good example of stage orange. I want to talk about that a little more because social media is actually designed in such a way so that it manipulates your mind to uh, get you addicted to the site. So the people who create it don't really give a crap about you, obviously. They give a crap more about making money and they don't care about the consequences. It's damn the consequences I have goals to accomplish. I got money to make. Um, mass production and, you know, industrial revolution, so industries. Rationality, logic, science, secularism, humanism, technology, materialism, reductionism, atheism, uh, scientific evolution. Hard-nosed science. No new age mumbo jumbo, no spiritual stuff, nothing like that, no consciousness, nothing like that. Pragmatism, pragmatism, empiricism, and skepticism. Although skepticism at this stage of development is very typically weaponized, meaning like it's going around and it's saying religion is full of shit and this thing is full of shit, but it's not able to use skepticism on its own worldview. Whereas, you know, how do I know science and rationality will take me to truth? Or how do I know that material possessions will actually fulfill me? It's not able to really do that, really. It's not really thinking like that. It's more of using skepticism to debunk others, and it's typically weaponized. A good example of this is Richard Dawkins. He is uh, pretty ideological in when he's debating religious people, and he's very clearly using skepticism as a way to attack others, really. Uh, I don't want to use the word attack others, but he's using it to sort of attack other worldviews without even really, there's no self-reflective process with skepticism. Because really skepticism can be used as a tool to question your own worldview, which is really what matters as opposed to just endlessly debating external topics. Really, um, Stage Orange doesn't really care about that. Stage Orange is all about uh, conquering the real world, really. And by conquering, I mean, you know, achieving my goals in the real physical 3D world. Whatever that is. No metaphysics, analysis, facts, quote-unquote facts, data, analytics, models, quantify everything. If we can't quantify it, it doesn't exist. So we can't quantify consciousness, therefore it must be an illusion. That's a very orange way of thinking, which doesn't make any sense. They just don't know what consciousness is. They haven't explored it. Objectivity is massive at orange. They pretty much uh, don't care at all about uh, subjectivity. That's all too woo-woo and fluffy and can't quantify it. And they're blind to the subjective biases and the subjective interpretations that color objectivity. So when they are talking about objective facts, they're not really aware of how their mind's actually constructing that and interpreting reality. They just think that the world out there is just what it is. It's a given and we can just measure it and quantify it. And then we got the answer and it's just as simple as that. When there's actually a, a very deep subjective process that's happening as you're making sense of the world, which yellow actually becomes aware of, which is the next individualistic stage. It's two stages past orange. Uh, Science-based, fact-based education. So that's what I was saying earlier, just facts. Uh, emotional well-being, eating healthy. This isn't cared about in an orange education. Oh, also, um, <laughs> what is it? Um, 
Ah, I forgot, but <laughs> I, had a lot of, I had a lot of ideas for that one. Uh, double blind peer reviewed studies, the scientific method, IQ. Oh, so yeah, logic is pretty much how they're going to be teaching people. It has nothing to do with uh, really emotional intelligence or analyzing different forms of intelligence that comes in at yellow. Uh, pretty much Orange's idea of intelligence is just logic. That's really what they reduce intelligence to is just, just IQ, just logic, just problem solving. That's what intelligence is, although that is very limiting and that's not true. That's just a very narrow aspect of intelligence because, like I've stated a couple times already, Orange doesn't have big picture thinking. It can't think in broad and wide terms. It's not happening at this stage. Education tends to be very primitive at this stage. Education systems in the world are not these advanced places of truth and no, it's, it's way more about surviving status and keeping this orange level of consciousness alive. Str strategic planning, risk analysis, innovation and creative thinking, results and the bottom line matters most. Maintaining a competitive edge, competence versus rank or bloodline recognition, reward, win-win outcomes. So win-win does exist at Orange, although uh, Orange, like I said, won't have a problem stepping on you if that's the only way that they can get their goals met, their needs met. Uh, although a lot of Orange people will not physically step on you or something, they might, uh, you know... Uh, manipulate you or exploit you in some way and take your possessions of some sort, not through stealing, but maybe through, um, I don't know, uh, some sort of manipulative tactic that I, I can't really think of right now. Um, now, I want to get into orange-based education. Now, there's education at all levels of development, and as we go up the the spiral and levels of development, education becomes more complex and it becomes more truthful. Now, a lot of orange-based education isn't very much about what is true and actually educating. What it's about is it's about spreading this orange level of consciousness around. And they're not aware of the fact that they're doing this. They're not aware that uh, this is, you know, their value system that they're indoctrinating people with. What people in tier one think is that my value system is the truth. Science just is the truth. Objectivity just is the truth. Just like stage blue thought, Jesus just is the Lord and Savior. The Pope just is unquestionable. The, you know, Catholic Church just is the truth. Now we're talking about it's the same thing happening here. It's the exact same thing. But now it's just science, rationality, logic, mathematics, quantifiable data, analysis, uh, things like this. This just is the truth. There's no questioning this. There's nothing past. This is just, we just have to keep doing this for another 200 years and then we'll have all the answers. That's very, very orange. It's very orange. Uh, thinking and that's really how orange educates people we just need more technology we just need more you know blah 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 i hope you get the point now i'm gonna go back to the win-win outcome so orange can maybe make you lose your house in the stock market or something like that sue you for all your possessions that's a very typical way that someone at stage orange would uh you know gladly step on you in order to get their needs met that's a perfect example. Uh, now I'm gonna be giving a lot of stage orange examples and you'll be able to plug this into a lot of real world examples. I did not know the list was as long as it is. And uh, let's get started. So America, uh, although the United States has this battle between people who are blue slash orange and orange slash green, which I'll be talking about more in the later episodes, but the United States is dominantly orange, capitalism, uh, emerging China. So modern day China is very blue orange and it's moving into orange. So yeah, like industrial China, 
Um, businessmen, CEOs, biz suits, corporate boardrooms, lawyers, Wall Street, The Wolf of Wall Street, that movie. Watch that if you want a very stereotypical uh, stage orange person. But he's also stage red because, you know, after he starts getting involved with uh, cocaine, that actually brings down his level of development. That completely screws him up. That brings him down to impulsive red slash orange. Uh, insider trading, Manhattan, hedge fund managers, Goldman Sachs, Big Pharma. So modern day... Uh, you know, medicine, Western medicine is typically very stage orange. Big Pharma is deeply corrupt, as everyone hopefully knows. It has not too much to do with making a healthy society, but more to do with selling pharmaceuticals and making money. So um, America's healthcare system is a, a great example of a stage orange healthcare system because of how manipulative and exploitative they are. They can be selling someone something that uh, might cure one thing, but then it causes depression and then they come back for them for antidepressants. And it's a very manipulative and exploitative system. Uh, I don't wanna go too deep into that specific um, sort of system, but I hope you can see how exploitative and manipulative it is and how dysfunctional that actually is uh big oil so you know oil companies you know this uh raping mother earth of her resources for our gain is very stage orange so orange uh orange does not value environmental protection that happens at the stage above so oil companies are are massive here as well as i'm going to expand a little bit more on big pharma um there's higher levels of uh, medicine and healthcare systems. You can have a purple healthcare system, which is usually some, some kind of shaman or, or something. And Canada's healthcare system leans a little, a little bit more green. I'm from Canada. We have uh, free healthcare. So I can you know break my leg and then go get it patched up. Whereas a lot of people in the States are scared to see a doctor because the bills are absolutely unaffordable for many people and uh, a lot of this has nothing to do with creating a healthy society or looking after people or caring about people what this has to do with is making money and getting people's uh you know goals met you know getting their specific agenda met the ceo of some you know pharmaceutical company he wants his money he wants his goals met and he doesn't really give a damn screw the consequences you know and he might even rationalize it to himself that, you know, he's actually helping people because he's giving out these pills that are helping people and he's really unaware of uh, the effects that it's really having and some of the downsides of it. So because the mind at this stage values logic and rationality, uh, there's a lot of opportunities for self-deception still at this stage, although significantly less than the previous stages. But because there's a blind faith in rationality, it's actually unaware of how the mind uses logic and rationality to fool and deceive itself, which later stages like stage yellow actually becomes aware of. Uh, the tobacco companies are a perfect example of stage orange because obviously they don't care about anything other than selling cigarettes and making money. They don't care about the you know, effects of cigarettes on the human body. You know, they don't, they don't care about this. They, they care about, you know, uh, their business, staying alive as a business. A lot of advertising is stage orange. So a good example of orange advertisement is advertising is fast food companies because, uh, you know, a lot of the food in those advertisements, it's, you know, spray, not spray painted, but there's some sort of additive that makes it look a particular way so that it, uh, you know, just looks better to the human eye so then it actually makes you hungry and then you go out and buy the food so it's all about manipulating viewers to come and give me money <laughs> that's very orange uh and like i said the mcdonald's happy meal is very typical stage orange because it's all about manipulating even children you know screw the children i gotta make money buy my happy meal <laughs> that's really what's going on there uh, it's extremely exploitative. Fortune 500 companies, a lot of entrepreneurs, although entrepreneurs can happen at every level of development, but your very stereotypical American entrepreneur 
businessman in the suit. That is very stage orange. I'm sure you guys can have an idea of that in your mind. I'm sure you guys already, you already got it. Just go watch The Wolf of Wall Street or something. Uh, libertarians, uh, Ayn Rand, professional sports is very um, orange because it's all about competition and the winner takes all. And, you know, damn the losers, really. Um, FIFA, NBA, Super Bowl, sponsorship deals. The fashion and cosmetic industry is extremely stage orange because a lot of, you know, the fashion and cosmetic industry, a lot of this stuff is actually, it's terrible for your skin. A lot of makeup's horrible for you, but it gives you this self-esteem, this appearance and this self-image of you're beautiful and you're, you know, worthy and, and all of that. And really, uh, it's all about, once again, making money, serving my own goals, serving my own needs, and not really aware of the collateral damage that's happening. Orange tends to be extremely unaware of the collateral damage that it causes. So big pharma, a lot of businesses, like I've been saying, fast food industries are completely unaware of the collateral damage they cause. Uh, yeah, big pharma is too. Uh, oil companies, they tend to not care at all about... Uh, the environment, they don't care about that. Collateral damage flies out the window. It's my needs, it's my goals. It's, what about my ambition? Um, Rolex, nightclubs, the pickup, pickup artists, pickup, although pickup artists can actually be a lot of stage red as well, but pickup as a whole is typically very uh, stage orange. Mog Tau, red pill ideology, which is a specific sort of masculine ideology around picking up women and being alpha male that's very typical orange thinking bro culture republicans trump i've talked about trump already he's got a lot of red orange although the republicans are more blue slash orange i mentioned conservatives and republicans in the blue in the blue video they tend to have a lot more of the blue orange system whereas the liberals are going to be the liberals and democrats are going to be leaning more orange green although they are very much both in this orange value system and that's mainly where they're coming from it's just there's slight differences in their value system that really determine uh you know a lot of the arguments and disagreements that they have disagreements that they have uh trophy hunting breast implants plastic surgery Botox, liposuction, pornography, Playboy, Hustler Magazine, Hugh Hefner, Larry Flint, strip clubs, Hollywood biz, supermodels, Silicon Valley, startups, venture capital, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, casinos. I was thinking about this before I made the video. Casinos are a genius example of stage orange because once again, everyone knows that casinos are extremely rigged. You go there, the odds of you winning are extremely low. It's really just designed to once again manipulate you to hand your money over to me and screw you, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, a lot of the, the uh, you know, gambling machines and games, they're made in such a way so that they manipulate your psyche and get you addicted extremely quickly. It's all about pretty much getting you addicted to some form of pleasure or dopamine hit and you just impulsively giving money away. That's really a lot of what stage orange exploitation and manipulation is about. Theme parks are massive. Uh, so Canada's Wonderland, Disneyland, Disney World. Uh, corporate Raiders, Walmart, Amazon, Coca-Cola, McDonald's, Disney, Monsanto, Microsoft, GE, AT&T, IBM, Facebook, EA, microtransactions. A lot of video games nowadays have microtransactions and it's pretty much like an online form of gambling within video games. It's, it's extremely manipulative. Uh, gamer culture, Enron, R&D, lobbyists, Dick Cheney. Uh, Halle Burden, Yuppies, Internet. A lot of the Internet is dominantly orange, although there's um, a lot of other um, values on the Internet, but the Internet really arises at stage orange. There wasn't Internet before Spiral Dynamics stage orange. Bodybuilding tends to be very stage orange. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, steroids, corrupt politicians, although corrupt politicians can even be red, 
they can happen pretty much anywhere at tier one. They can be red, blue, orange, and green, but a lot of your stereotypical corrupt politicians tends to be very stage orange within uh, first world democracies, that is. Uh, MBA programs, golf courses are a perfect example of stage orange. It's all about looking elite and um, having your esteem, self-esteem needs met and you're putting on this uh, rich person identity. A lot of that tends to be orange. Although any stage of development can just like playing golf. It's not the actual sport. But um, the, the sort of golf course front that happens. And competitive sports do tend to be dominantly stage orange. Fly fishing, anti-union laws, uh, patent trolls, Western medicine, Larry Ellison, Steve Ballmer, Dave Rubin, um, outsourcing, deregulation, tax cuts, trickle-down economics, payday loans, sweatshops. Sweatshops are a great example of orange exploitation and manipulation because it's a reoccurring theme. It's we are pretty much ripping you off in order to get our, our needs met. Uh, junk food uh, is very stage orange. Fast food, energy drinks, uh, your very stereotypical used car salesman or your car salesman who's pretty much just trying to manipulate you into buying a car. That's a very, uh, just your stereotypical car salesman. Although not every car salesman is obviously uh, stage orange, but a lot of that sort of car salesman identity and sort of culture tends to be very orange. Uh, a lot of marketing, um, sales and PR, focus groups, television, reality TV, infomercials, game shows, CNN, MSNBC, liberal media, e-commerce, financial industry, software engineers, technical scientists. So a lot of scientists nowadays, they lack holistic picture or a holistic understanding. They can't synthesize hundreds of different perspectives What's really happening when most people go into science is they go into something like microbiology, a very specific, narrow, technical field, or like, um, I don't know, astrophysics, or just some specific field that they, they go into, some very narrow field. So technical scientists tend to be very um, orange. Nuclear weapons is a product of stage orange. Luxury yachts. Uh, private jets, personal helicopters, real estate tycoons, railroads, the Gilded Age, robber barons, uh, Andrew Carnegie, Rockefeller. Um, rock music tends to have a lot of stage orange, cocaine, alcohol, pop music. Now, cocaine, alcohol... Alcohol tends to be very stage orange, but it can turn stage red. It can make you very impulsive and addicted to it. And it can really bring you down to red if you have a very serious addiction with it. Cocaine tends to have a lot of stage red in it as well. Cocaine addicts, really. Um, but even a lot of rock music, a lot of this also happens at orange. Club music, rap music, uh, your stereotypical trophy wife. Uh, that idea is very orange. Gold digger, oil drilling in Alaska, champagne and caviar, that sort of rich, uh, high class champagne and caviar and come to my mansion after, uh, uh, like that whole sort of facade. Uh, that's a lot of uh, stage orange. Fancy restaurants tend to have a lot of stage orange. Luxury resorts, cruise ships, mercenaries, black water, gated communities, mansions, Video games, although video games can actually once again happen at any level of this, well, not really any level of uh, any level of the spiral, but there can be uh, different levels of development within video games and even different levels of development within mansions. But this sort of um, hedonistic uh, approach to life tends to be very orange. Success magazine, private prep schools, poker players. <clears throat> although a lot of gamblers can also be very stage red. Uh, the self-help industry, biz books, biz seminars, marketing seminars, Dan Kennedy, Tim Ferriss, although Tim Ferriss is kind of interesting. Uh, 
Tony Robbins has, yeah, Tony Robbins self-help is very stage orange. Ty Lopez, uh, Richard Dawkins, the scientist I was talking about earlier. Uh, Sean Carroll, Stephen Hawking, Christopher Hitchens, uh, consulting, success coaches, millionaire mindset, net worth, I think that was twice. Uh, sports, cars, Mercedes, BMW, Rolls Royce, Lamborghini, Ferrari, things like this, this sort of buying expensive cars to look cool. This is all very stage orange mindset. VIP, celebrities, a lot of celebrities. I think that was also twice. Paparazzi, uh, Las Vegas, um, Palm Springs, Hong Kong, Dubai, cost benefit analysis. So cost slash benefit analysis. Uh, nerd culture, polyester clothing, snake oil salesman, atheism, skepticism. So being skeptical of, let's say, uh, you know, religion or, you know, new age culture or anything deemed as spiritual is very uh, stage orange because it tends to be very anti-spiritual, which is uh, throwing a lot of valuable information into the trash can. Uh, skepticism is massive at this stage, like I said earlier, mainly as a weapon. It's not a very self-reflective process. It's more about going out and debunking this and debunking that. Uh, separation of church and state is very orange. Uh, Enlightenment values, so the Enlightenment era. Western values, the Founding Fathers, Benjamin Franklin, Vol Voltaire, uh, the Renaissance, the Industrial Revolution, factories, Henry Ford, Kim Kardashian, Kanye West, Paris Hilton, uh, sex, drugs, and rock and roll, midlife crisis, uh, malls, fashion shows, NASA, SpaceX, Elon Musk, for-profit universities, which is the majority of education nowadays, um, get-rich-quick schemes, uh, online millionaires, Bitcoin, Forex, day trading, utilitarianism, logical positivism, behaviorism, um, Darwinism, social media, gun rights, Ivy League universities, Harvard, Yale, Princeton, Princeton, MIT, Caltech, the University of Toronto. Now these are all very high quality universities and how come they're not at the highest level of development? They're the greatest sources of education. Turns out that they're actually not. <laughs> I'm sorry to, sorry to burst any bubbles there, but a lot of these uh, institutions are not very cognitively evolved. Like, I'm sorry, there can be very exceptional individuals in a lot of these places. It doesn't mean that they're stupid. That's not what I'm saying. And there's even people in these places who tend to be green and even yellow, which are the next two stages. But dominantly, the way these systems are functioning, functioning is in a very stage orange way. And they can have a lot of very smart people, you know, People who are great at understanding technology, for example, but when it comes to a very big picture, holistic understanding of the world, and really being able to make sense of the world in an accurate way, these institutions can't do it. They can't. They don't have the cognitive development. The military-industrial complex, although that's, that's like blue slash orange, Lockheed Martin, Boeing, um, Sigmund Freud, Harvey Weinstein, 2008 financial collapse, dot-com bubble, cubism, abstract, impressionism, surrealism, multi-level marketing, Viagra, the penis pills, billboards, uh, GMOs, cloning, Human Genome Project, Stem Cell Research, Robotics, Computers, Birth Control, Sex Education, All-You-Can-Eat Buffets, um, Death Through Overwork, so being overworked. Alex Jones, although Alex Jones is an interesting character, he's very uh, blue slash orange, and he's even got a bit of red in him, <laughs> to be honest, but he's dominantly blue orange, and he's just part crazy, to be honest. <laughs> Um, yeah, he's, he's a very interesting character. 
uh, Prosperity Preachers, Howard Stern, South Park, The Simpsons, Family Guy, House of Cards, Avatar, the movie Avatar, you know, they wanted to uh, destroy that native land. I watched that movie when I was like 10 or something. I don't know. I don't remember exactly. It came out in 2009, I believe, but I remember the basis of it is that there was some sort of greedy corporation type person or type, you know, system that wanted to uh, manipulate and dominate the land of some tribe, some species, and they wanted to take it all for themselves and this sort of mentality. Uh, Sam Harris is another example of stage orange. Sam Harris is very orange slash green, but he's got a lot of stage orange in him. Now, I really hope you can piece together stage orange. Um, this is a very complicated stage because the thing about this stage and even just blue, orange, and green, these three stages is that the majority of people watching me are going to be at this these levels of development so what i can you know what i'm going to be saying saying that you know science isn't the highest truth you know a lot of people can get upset with that because they've been taught science their whole life and then it's what, what the hell do you mean because you've trained your mind to think in a very narrow way just in terms of you know science now blue orange and green green is going to be the next video these are pretty much going to be dominating the world. They already pretty much are. Mostly blue and orange are dominating the world. Green is slowly emerging, very, very, very slowly emerging, like, like snail speed. Here in Canada, it's beginning to sort of emerge and Scandinavia, it's starting to emerge. But these three value systems are going to be the most controversial Although yellow and turquoise can be somewhat controversial. But these three for sure will be the most because there's so much to do with... Um, you know, these three value systems are so wrapped up in the majority of cultures nowadays and the majority of human thinking. Now, science is an interesting phenomenon at stage orange. Now... The problem with a lot of science is that they are pretty much, you know, stage orange level science is that they are reducing all subjective aspects to objective truth. So saying consciousness, feelings, uh, altered states of consciousness, higher like values, art, things like this. These are all just atoms. They're reducing it to objective truths, which isn't correct. Now, you can't reduce all of subjectivity to just objectivity. You can measure a person. You, we can take Albert Einstein and Hitler, and we can measure their brain waves. And that specific analysis and that data isn't going to tell us the subjective aspects of, you know, who's more valuable or, you know, like who's going to be contributing more to the world and where we want to go, things like this. Now, we can measure brain waves of, let's say, a monk, but that's not going to tell us what his actual experience is or his actual feelings, okay? The actual brain states and these, uh, this objective knowledge and this analysis, this is all very different from the actual subjective state and the actual experience of that person. And there's all sorts of subjective interpretations that go into objectivity, which stage orange just isn't conscious of yet. A lot of scientists just aren't aware of this. They just think that reality, external reality is just a given and we can just quantify it and measure it and then boom, wrap it up, we're done. But the world is much more complicated than that and people at stage green and yellow begin to see that, especially at yellow, that that really begins to, uh, you know, flower this sort of, uh, just very complicated levels of thinking really begin to flower at yellow. Stage orange loves to be objective. They like to see themselves as just objective witnesses, which a lot of scientists like to do nowadays. They just run an experiment and they observe it, but they don't really take into account the effect that they're having on the actual experiment 
whereas stage yellow does. Stage yellow views itself as a part of the system and accounts for uh, the sort of biases and the subjective aspects that they bring to it and how they can distort the data, whereas orange just takes the data at face value and that's it, wrap it up, we're done. Reality is just atoms and that's it. It's reducing everything related to, sub to subjectivity to just objective knowledge. And there's a lot of problems with that. Um, if you want to read more about that, I recommend looking into Integral Psychology by Ken Wilber. It's a book that'll help you out. And I'll be explaining the higher levels of development and a lot of the dysfunctions of orange uh, as we go along because all these levels are going to really connect. And yeah, this has been a pretty, pretty interesting video because of how relevant these values are. These values are extremely relevant. I hope you can see how important this is, that you can now understand the level of development that a lot of the earth is actually at. You can see how uh, people in the education system are thinking. You know, you'll have to research, you'll have to do more than just watch this video. You'll have to research it yourself, I hope. And I'm gonna be giving you a list of resources in a separate video when this series is done. But you can see how these people are interpreting reality and what is in their awareness. We can actually get an idea for how people are viewing the world and their blind spots and the dysfunctions of an entire structure of human development and consciousness. This is a profound thing. We can actually see where humans are getting stuck in their development and the dysfunctions that that causes and where people are going wrong. We can actually look into that and we can, I, we can identify that for the most part. Now, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe because it helps my channel to grow. It helps YouTube to push out my content. Um, if you have any questions about anything, comment below and I'll answer. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and peace out.